is throwing the ball. Baylor is just as good running the football. We'll get to that later. Good D by Texas Tech on the pass to the flat. Katie right. It's this offensive line with all five returning starters. Here's Linwood. And Linwood able to shake a tackler and get out across the 20 yard. They'll keep it on the ground on third down, and it's an easy first down for Linwood, and it might be a touchdown. Inside the 20, touchdown, Baylor. A 70. They run it on first down. Here's Linwood into the secondary again. Brought down at the 30-yard line. But uh, keep an eye on McGowan in this football game. Taken down in the backfield is Corey Cole. The turnovers that they need to compete in this game. Out of an empty set, here comes pressure on third down. Russell going deep. It's pulled in by Coleman. Brought down at the college football. And nice job by Seth Russell recognizing blitz. Now Russell going to go to the end zone here. Incomplete. Off the fingertip. Let's try to keep this new quarterback off balance. Here's Johnny Jefferson, their number two running player. Something we've never seen before. Caught his only uh, pass last year as Cannon makes the catch here and scores. Touchdown, Baylor. Off TCU. Good punt by Tech. Pins Baylor inside its 10. And here's Linwood on first down. Big hole. Linwood finally stopped at the 17. We go to Cassidy Hubbard in the studio. And uh, pitch and catch first down. Jay Lee on the grab after the snap. <laughs> Wide receiver screen. Coleman grabbed to the ankles at the 30 yard line. This year against Michigan State. High energy from Kendall Bryles. Art Bryles son of course. Linwood wrapped up after a short game. Right now because he doesn't want to get the defense an opportunity to do so. They pop one out to Corey Coleman right here. Now they're going to get the first down. Now watch Kendall Brown call before the ball is even spotted, guys. Russell to the air on first down. Facing some pressure. Steps up. Pretty good athlete. Crosses the 45. Into Tech territory. Fumble the ball, but he was out of bounds. That's what gets it, communicates it to the offensive line, and they go as fast as possible. Designed quarterback run. Russell upended at the 35. you got to keep it pretty simple, which is what Art likes to do. Linwood picks a hole, has a first down, pushes the pile inside the 25-yard line. And gets set. Wide open is the tight end penning, but he could not hang on. Either team. Russell over the middle. That one is incomplete. Third and ten. This would be huge for Texas Tech if they can get a stop. Russell over the middle. Now touchdown, Corey Coleman. And was he open in the middle of the defense? See, Laquan McGowan is in at fullback at 400 pounds, and they run, they fake it, and throw it down the sideline. Wide open, the catch made by Jay Lee. Lee will outrun the defender. Tripped up, comes up short. Hand off to Linwood. Went up over the top from the uh, two-yard line. Don't you? Seth Russell. Boy, look at McGowan. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> and you have a, a mental error on defense. And you got the big man pushing you in. Hey, remember the bush push? In the zone and make him think and execute and throw windows. Russell from the goal line, throwing deep again, incomplete. I thought that Katie Cannon was held. Wide splits by these receivers. Look how wide they are outside the numbers, all of them. That normally says they're going to run the football. And there it is. Jefferson tackled in the backfield. He was out of the end zone. And Russell in trouble. Gets out of the end zone and is across the 10. Comes up short of the marker. And so on the season, just four interceptions. Think of all the quarterbacks that have come through this system, going back to Kevin Cobb at Houston. RG3, of course. Petty last year. Run play. Linwood breaks a tackle into Tech territory. All the way to the 20-yard line. 40-yard run for Linwood. Russell over the middle. And Penning with the grab and a first down. Think about Laquan McGowan. The forgotten guy is Gus Penning, who's a good player. Linwood into the end zone. Another Baylor touchdown. 
Second one today for Linwood. To prove it games today. Georgia, Clemson tonight against Notre Dame. Right, prove the fear for real as Russell slides to the 19-yard line. Last week against Florida and then against Oklahoma earlier in the year. Russell again got the first down, spun down. Team around him, the only question mark was him. And he stood up, stood up. Coleman slips a tackle in the backfield. Finally, to get tight end, even though he has one <laughs> career catch. He's too big to get in his stance there. Another passing touchdown, Corey Coleman with the grab, and Baylor's got 41 points. And Baylor starts this drive short of its 20-yard line. And a big hole for Linwood again. All the way to the 27-yard line. All right. Top three in the Heisman. The top ten in the Heisman as oh. Russell is all the way past midfield. All right. 1966. Yep. Russell airing it out. Single coverage downfield, incomplete. Intent was coming down and he goes ahead and tackles him. Defense number one. Oh, is not in the game here. Jefferson straight ahead, stood up at the 29. Oh, is not in the game here. Jefferson straight ahead, stood up at the 29. Last year they have 236. In this game, actually more rushing yards and passing yards in this game. A strike to Lee inside the 20. A missed tackle. DBs are backing up. And then finally, Nigel Bethel on the stop. Important that running game is for this Baylor offense. And look, Juan McGowan is in. And they try to run behind him. Russell got Clemens Valdez in at fullback. And they got McGowan lined up as a tight end. They're going to run in between both those guys. Jefferson down to the two-yard line. He needed another body at tight end, so he came out of the staff room. Here's a bootleg. Russell will take it in for the touchdown. To the big man. Take a look here. He's going to seal that edge. Probably a good idea to run his direction, but that's an easy touchdown. Baylor trying to outdo TCU. He led 30 to nothing over Texas in the first quarter. Doug Rhodes was at that game, too, by the way, <laughs> as uh, Linwood takes it to the 40-yard line. Russell hands it off. And Linwood dragged down short of the first down. Third. They, they've been on their heels. Russell will keep, and he can't get outside. Brand fourth down and four for Baylor inside the Texas Tech 40-yard line. Russell flushed out of the pocket. And throws it away. It is intercepted. It's tech ball either way. Got Laquan McGowan in at the fullback. He'll maul somebody and they run the other way. And a big hole for Linwood. And Ohio State, not great offensively since week one. The hamstring issue. Russell. And this communication with his receiver Cannon. We just haven't seen Williams yet in this game. Russell on third and seven. And man, wide open is Cannon for a first down at the 45-yard line. Zone coverage here. Two deep safeties. And on the outside, that's so much space there for this Texas Tech. Jefferson dragged down after a gain of four at the feet to get back. 13 carries, 186 yards for Linwood. As Russell goes deep and thrown out of bounds, but a flag. Pass interference, defense. Looking back, then his, then his head turns and he took out a run. There's McGowan in the game. Jefferson. Ball came out. One official says he's down in the game. Just watch number 80, folks. Watch him here. <laughs> Jefferson off the right side. Dragged down at the 16-yard line, short of the first down. Fullback, now he's at tight end. You know, they're using him creatively. Jefferson to the 11, easy first down there. McGowan didn't have to work. That's the lines in the country. Russell keeps, and he gets game tackled at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen him use it today on uh, one of these poor linebackers, Jefferson. And the Red Raiders can't. Trying to come up with a stop. Jefferson straight ahead. 
to the goal line and in Baylor touchdown again. Indiana's a pretty good team. Jefferson able to fall forward and get a couple of yards. You don't have a quarterback, then you don't have an offense. Pass is caught by Coleman. He's wrapped up short of the 20. He's a highly recruited guy. And Tom knows all about him, but uh, that, that uh, position for Baylor uh, is, is in good hands going on, and that's why Baylor's the best offense in the country. Pass behind, Coleman incomplete. Uh, they've done an unbelievable job of recruiting athletes, popping the ball out here to the perimeter uh, right now, of recruiting athletes that out of the high school level, more personnel around the quarterback than maybe they had in the earlier days at Baylor, which is going to accentuate the quarterback. Incomplete as Coleman was being defended by Bethel. 21 on the season through, remember, four games for Baylor because they had a bye already. Shock Linwood tackled. It was Philip Montgomery and that, that kind of uh, got him to Baylor. David Beatty, who uh, was the offense. On the Baylor 22. Russell taking off and he'll come up short. On the Baylor 22. Russell taking off, and he'll come up short. Ball on the road at Virginia. Linwood gets the first down, took a shot, but bounced right off the defender. Shoved out at the 17-yard line. Now Baylor averaging 20 or 64 points per game, trying to get close to that. Russell. Completes it to Coleman. Great miss. Going for his third touchdown and in. Corey Coleman launches into the end zone. Give him too much attention. You got Katie Canning, Jay Lee. You got a 400-pound fullback. You should think. Don't want to get anybody hurt. They're not coming back from 28 down with eight minutes to go. Here's Linwood on second down. And they'll bring a third down. From an injury standpoint, this game's over. Why are these guys still in the field? Track for, for Baylor defensively against Texas Tech, giving up that many passing yards. Stidham's going to hand it off on first down, and it's Terrence Williams. Stidham fires to Zamora out near midfield. We kind of take a breath after this game, look those guys in the eye, and they look back at him and say, you know what, he produced in a big game. And Games are at the back end of their schedule, and they're on the road. With the exception of uh, the Sooners at home as Terrence Williams runs over a defensive lineman and in the conference having played a pair of top five teams in TCU and Baylor in back-to-back -back weeks for the first time in school history. Terrence Williams won't go down.